All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there, just like you, just like me. All right, before I get going, I'm going to be talking about The Boss, Bruce Springsteen. Uh, Big Wolf Band, Be Free. This is a great band from the UK, blues rock oriented music, um, both male and female vocalists. Fantastic. The band has a live album coming out soon. Big fan of this music. You don't hear it on the radio here in the States, unless, of course, you have some weird blues channel on uh, Sirius Radio. Then maybe you might hear a track from these guys, but um, really dig their stuff. And uh, apparently the people in Tulsa, Oklahoma, are really digging Bruce Springsteen. Um, so my friend Jonesy sends me this article, and I'm reading it, and I'm going... How condescending is this? How um, sort of off-putting for people in Tulsa, Oklahoma to find out through their local news that their town really doesn't have culture, but because Springsteen is showing up and people are flying in from all over the world to see Bruce Springsteen, that that makes Tulsa, Oklahoma a cultural mecca, much like Austin, Texas, which um politically is so far left that it's not even in the shot you know it's way off over here or depending on your perspective it could be way off over there uh either way um they're trying to make tulsa into austin texas oh boy i'm sure the people of tulsa are looking forward to that but my guess is it's probably happening um based on this article though it, it just, I'm going to read this because um, it's an exercise <clears throat> in understanding the media and culture and music, everything coming together here. And this isn't really even about Bruce Springsteen for the most part. It says fans from around the world come to Tulsa for Bruce Springsteen concert. So right off the bat, not locals, not people who live in Tulsa, but people from around the world. So again, because all of these world travelers are coming in, that makes Tulsa a cultural mecca that elevates Tulsa to a point where it's not just some rube place in the middle of the country, right? I think Tulsa is fine. Why do we need... You can have culture in Tulsa without having world travelers stopping in. But again, unless people from around the world show up there for a Bruce Springsteen concert, you know, hey, nobody really cares about Tulsa, Oklahoma. So anyway, um, Bruce Springsteen fans were in Tulsa as the boss brought his tour to the BOK Center Tuesday night. Fans said Tulsa isn't getting the cultural recognition it deserves, but after visiting they think that will soon change. Okay, so these are the people from around the world who are visiting Tulsa, and they really are concerned that Tulsa isn't getting the cultural recognition it deserves. Um, I'm trying to think this through. Who cares? How's that for a response? Who cares if it's getting, I mean, you know, next stop, what, after Tulsa? Um, Glasgow, I mean, it, it's like, <clears throat> this is a place in the heartland of the country, and a lot of people aren't really that concerned about the kind of culture that people want to bring uh, to these urban places. It's just a weird article. So fans from all over the world starting lining up outside the BOK Center on Monday night. Um, Graham Atkinson 15 hours to get here to see Bruce, but it's absolutely worth it. He comes from Australia. He had to be here. Antoinette, Antoinette Switzer, very, <laughs> very appropriate first name, uh, was on planes for a whole day flying to Tulsa from Ireland. Um, doesn't Bruce go to Ireland? Doesn't he go to Australia? To, uh, folks, all right, so quick observation here, because that's what I do. These people have to have a lot of disposable income 
to be flying around the world to see the boss. All right. Just, just saying, I mean, yeah, he's going to be in Tulsa. So yeah, I'm going to book a flight from Australia to see Bruce Spring. I mean, this isn't Jesus. This is Bruce Springsteen. So I'm just, I, I just don't relate. Um, Switzer, Antoinette, has been to several Springsteen shows in the past and even found old friends she's met over the years. So it's a little rich club <clears throat> they jet set around the world. Um, you know, she talks about how she met one guy uh, in Australia in 2016 and 2017. Um, and they all said Tulsa is on their radar as a place they will visit again. So... Somebody over at the um, cultural, I don't know, department at Channel 6, whatever this is, you know, human events, uh, entertainment, the entertainment wing of the channel probably drew the short straw and had to write this article. But they write it like somebody who just is looking down on their own city. They all said Tulsa is on their radar. Okay, great. There's three guys over, over there from France. There's a guy over there from the Netherlands. There's two people over there from Germany, Switzer continued. Ah, so I see. So if people are from outside the United States, then that's culture. You're bringing culture to the town because you can't have art, you can't have music without people visiting from all over the world. Really weird. I, I don't understand this. Uh, maybe I'm just not cultured enough to figure it out. Uh, Kathy, Kathy Mayer flew in from Austin. She's been here before and said Tulsa is becoming a cultural hub. And Kathy should know, uh, being in Austin, because Austin, man, that place, if you like, um, you know, the next Seattle or Portland, Austin is right there. Yeah. You already see it. We went to the coolest bakery. There's murals everywhere. <laughs> murals. Oh, no. <clears throat> murals or graffiti uh, could be both but we'll just we'll go with the murals see when i see murals i'm just like oh someone is defacing concrete okay anyway uh the murals are everywhere and coming from a pretty hip town ourselves i feel the hipness here i feel the arts community mayor said there are things to do and it's a great place to be and there's a musical undertone that we all love as well said Antoinette, Switzer. Springsteen and the E Street Band are touring the world through December. Their next stop closest to us, meaning um, poor Tulsa, Oklahoma, is in Denver on March the 2nd. Um, <clears throat> Denver's already a really cultured place, though, so I don't know if Springsteen uh, and the world travelers are going to elevate the, uh, the culture in Denver uh, they are the Mile High City. So, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, folks, um, just observing this stuff. It's weird. It's really strange. Again, uh, I used to kind of like Bruce Springsteen probably prior to Born in the USA. But like everybody else, I jumped on that bandwagon when it was popular. But uh, I was back with Bruce during like the river and stuff like that. And uh, it's good stuff, but it's not my preferred musical passion. Um, anyway, here's uh, the Big Wolf Band. They might be your new musical passion. Check it out. It's called Be Free. Um, you can stream it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Voice is cutting out here. You can stream it. Uh, what else can you do? You could buy a CD maybe. Um, definitely worth supporting the band and helping out the new music community. You know, that's culture because Bruce Springsteen, 73 years old, you know, Bruce might live another 20 years. We don't know, but um, he's not going to be around forever. And you should have, you know, backup music to listen to. And when it comes to the old stuff, yeah, it'll always be here. But man, I get I get bored easily. I know a lot of people don't get bored, but I get bored with hearing the same songs over and over again. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Sorry about the voice. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. Um, Patreon, 
uh, for a buck a month, two bucks a month, whatever, uh, if you want to help the channel. Also, YouTube memberships up and running, and I'm getting a few. Like, I've got eight or nine of them. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, <clears throat> my humble little channel continues to grow. Thanks again, folks. See you soon.